Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. We're playing Dave the Diver. I'm excited because I didn't know if I beat this game. I couldn't remember, okay? So I clicked continue, and it said chapter two. So I Googled it, and I was like, how many chapters in Dave the Diver? And it said seven. I was like, oh, I'm nowhere near beating this game. <laughs> so I'm excited to play it uh, from the beginning. We're going to start a new game. Overriding existing starting from the beginning. Oh, God, it's going so slow. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Yo, that might actually be me. I'm built like a croissant. Root. We're getting in the mood right now, guys, okay? We're getting in the vibe, the feeling. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at the giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Which means this could be incredible business opportunities. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead. And go in on in. Mm, I don't have a good feeling about this. We're gonna do it anyway. Dive, dive, dive! Oh god. Oh god. Okay, our first dive, guys. Our first dive. Nice form. All right. How about try stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked areas. All right. Shift makes us go faster. Meow. Fishies. Meow. Good, looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are an, as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in co con contingencies. The dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the left click. Uh! No, don't run! Don't run! Stop running. No! Oh, I just gotta, I just gotta use it. Smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? Oops. Looks like you need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say three fish. Aim. Yeah, yeet. Oh. Yeah, yeet. Oh. Turn off the aim bot. <laughs> I think that should keep you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. All right, we're going back up. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. To defeat the hun. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure, that's uh, fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Ah, uh, well listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in this world. It's right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. Sushi sold here is made from the fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum. I'm already craving it. Ah, I bet. Why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? What happens if I decline? I should have tried it. Damn it. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It's supposed to be open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Why is he always laughing? <laughs> you know? Bancho, are, are, are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already... F finished you are you the fisherman cobra was talking about well i'm more of a diver than a fisherman all right anyway it's nice to meet you i'm bancho so you like sushi i sure do tuna belly eel sea urchin oh boy just thinking about it makes my mouth water hmm just as mediocre as i expected sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land it symbolizes mother nature herself most people however have only tasted more accessible fish just like you how empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can deliver. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. I would suck to just open up a new restaurant and that happen. Yikes. And an earthquake? Mm, the interior is quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we will have to delay the opening day. You know what? Spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs though through doing business. In this state? Blah! And the end of importance of a restaurant is the taste. 
First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm. Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the pos best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a wet stone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. That's fair. Music in this is so good. Seems as Bancho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. Blah -ha -ha -ha. I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so catch seven fish first. All right. Fine. Dive, dive, dive. All right, we need to catch some fishies. Boom! Is that one? I don't know if. Yeah, that was one. Ah! It's too quick. Will we eventually? Yeah, probably not. Uh. 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 But I want some jellyfish for my jellyfish sandwich. It's no ordinary sandwich. A sandwich made with jellyfish jelly. Uh, you told me to turn the aimbot off, and now it's just embarrassing. Okay. Uh. Ah! Got it. Okay. Uh, wait. Do I need to make the gold here? Is that a lionfish? Here, fishy. Oh, they're mad. Oh! No! Slice! Oh. Uh, well. Oh! No! I'm gonna drown. Run! I mean, swim! Swim, man. Swim. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Return to the boat. All right, looks like you caught quite a few fish. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. Bwahaha! My, my, would you look at the time? We have to hurry up and get these re things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Hey, what's this? Dive number one. Uh, time, 215. Best. Depth, 39 meters. Caught eight. Biggest fish, 50 centimeters. Wrap up your day and get things ready. Okay. Oh, by the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. What if you don't? Are you okay? I don't know. Am I okay? Are you okay? Are we okay? How are the preparations coming along? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help Why don't me scuba divers get good grades at school? Because they are always below sea level. <laughs> God. <laughs> Why? Why? It's it's oh my god, it's not even good, but it's so good. <sighs> You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I I don't understand. Couple told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there he, there for that but you? Wait, but I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer. So pay attention. What? Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Okay. Um. Wait, no. No! How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. What lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches? A nervous wreck. <laughs> Why? I'm, I'm a nervous wreck. I don't sit here and like twitch, okay? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you again, Jess. Perfect! Look at that! We know how to pour green tea. Why is this dude always laughing? <laughs> As expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. Uh, mm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always, why don't we try serving him some food while you're at it? 
Got it. You can dash? Wait, I didn't read that. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Wait, no, hey! Bro, I got your food. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Seems like such a waste to throw it away. Benzo Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Yeah, but I could eat it, right? Like, everything looks about ready. Mm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Max, boom. Add. Max, boom. Add. Max, boom. All right, open our first night of business. This is how we do business here in the lag community. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Uh, how do I pour tea again? Ah! Oh, got it. Whoa! Oh! Perfect, easy, honestly. Wait, who's food? Oh, I'm running. Yoosh. Uh, how can I tell which one's been waiting the longest? Here, just, just take the food. Bro, bro. All right, take that. Take that. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, urch. What do you mean good? What do you mean good? You mean perfect? I have a complaint. I'd like to make a complaint with the manager. I'm sweating. Just eat all the sushi? Yeah, right. Exactly. All right. All right. I'll see you soon. Voyage. Net profit 70 bucks. Five stars. 5.0. You earned artisan's flame. Five of them. We made a profit. Mm. That's how we run a business. Phew. Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I was sweating. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. First day open. Best sales record ever. Time to sell the place and never risk the failure. <laughs> we already risked it once. That's it. That's it. We're done. That's it. New record. The Kraken. Don't you yet? He's so strict. He's so strict. He's fine. Hey, yo, can we get some of those supplies though? Ellie, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> In any case, can you do something for me? Should you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay. okay. So what do you want? <laughs> I like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Give me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Give me two of each. Your tone. Makes me want to refuse. Hmm. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A re reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't delay. Sure. Come to think of it, it's already been around eight years that we've known each other. I was having fun diving back then near Richuli Rock. You certainly wanted to get your suitcase that fell off the boat. <laughs> I thought I was in real trouble back then. I was working as a weapon dealer, and there was important blueprints in that suitcase. He says casually. Okay, Cobra. Luckily, you saved them before they could be ruined. I have no idea how I would have fought Hans Lindemann, Lindemann without the blueprints. Hans Lindemann. I was talking to myself. Don't mind me. Sure, sure, sure. We've got a phone. Wow, this is a nicer phone than I have. What's the weather like? Crazy. While raining sideways the Ohio way. I think that's the weather app way. Or the weather way. The weather... You know what I'm saying. I can't pick it up! How, but how do I get better gloves? Now that I'm at like half health. We need fish. What am I doing? I'm not catching fish. Can I... Can I... No? That's a big fish. Looks like my grandma the freaking thing. Mom! 
I don't know how many shots this is at this point. Way too many. Way too many. If you exceed your weight limit, you will slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry anymore. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, I'm not worried about it. We're fine, guys. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're gaining depth faster than we're losing O2. It's fine. We're fine. We'll keep the oxygen tank. I don't know if it, if we could keep it for the next run or not, but here I am being greedy. Give me another fish. Return to the boat. Yes. Isn't it losing depth? Okay. You know what? Okay. Now I'd be gaining because the net... Well, it would be losing... Well, unless you consider it negative to the sea level. You know, I don't know. Anyway. Wait, no! No, I wanted to read that. What was my biggest fish? Dave, did you did you get to loosen up yesterday? Hmm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Hmm. I didn't notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violet, violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Oh, like he wasn't a freaking arms dealer. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's this goofy looking guy next to you? Did you just automatically FaceTime him? So that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting, I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses. So what's this about? <laughs> I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. <laughs> and now I'm in need of some weapons, Duff. I need your help. Hmm, season two of Stristella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Actually, all right. I actually uh, discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought in or brought out. I'd like to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm. That is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns which have precision parts. Hmm. So we'll have to get materials from the sea ourselves. <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a di diver to this master death. I'm not sure I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. At least we'll always be able to make it back, though. You know? And that's what matters. Okay. I guess we just go back. I keep dreaming, but my dreams keep flying away. A song we're far beyond. Keep chasing them and I never rest for a day. A song's night on two. I feel. 